In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your documents from a SharePoint site to appear inside a file explorer so you can easily get access to them. The ability to have your documents appear from SharePoint inside a file explorer is referred to as syncing. So it means you can sync your documents and access them on file explorer, but also have the ability to access them offline. Now let's take a look first at how we actually sync these documents offline, but then I'm going to talk to you about the best practices around how to use your documents once you have access to them and they're synced in File Explorer. Now to show you how I sync these documents from SharePoint into File Explorer, first off I'm going to just start off with a completely blank document library to show you exactly how this works. Uh, now because it's completely blank I'm just going to add some folders in here so you can see when something has been synced um, to my local computer. So I'm just going to make a couple of folders. I'll create folder one, uh, create a couple more, folder two, and then folder three. Cool. So now we have our content. So we have some folders inside of our SharePoint document library. We can now click on this sync button across the top up here. Now this sync button is essentially what is going to be syncing the documents from SharePoint to my local computer. Now the complexity of it kind of comes from the fact that um, there's confusion that the, that the app name that syncs this is called OneDrive. It's not the same OneDrive which um, is your kind of personal documents and things like that. But you will see that there'll be at the bottom right hand corner of your computer uh, a OneDrive symbol and that's what will be doing the syncing. Now I'm going to click on the sync button and it's going to say this site is trying to open Microsoft OneDrive. So don't get confused by this. OneDrive is just the, the name of the app on your computer which is trying to sync SharePoint. So it's now giving me the URL of the SharePoint site uh, that it's trying to sync. And then I'm going to click on open. And what that will do is it will then open up Microsoft OneDrive and you'll see that in fact it's opened up on my other screen. But it's trying to sync the SharePoint site to my local computer so I can access it through File Explorer. As you can see, now it's finished syncing. It only took about 60 seconds to complete. I now have the products playbook documents, um, that folder one, folder two, and folder three that we were looking at before inside of SharePoint, available to me inside of File Explorer. Now, you can see the way it's structured is, you'll see it inside of File Explorer. There'll be the name of, of your Microsoft 365 tenant, um, and then what it will do is for everything that you have synced from SharePoint, it will show the name of the SharePoint site hyphen the name of the document library. Now most of the time that will be documents, but you can see here, for example, um, because I've synced an individual folder, um, that, that is actually showing up there as gcloud because that's the name of the folder from that particular SharePoint site. Now it's actually really simple to sync just an individual folder. All you need to do is open up the folder that you wish to sync and then click on the sync button. Once you have it opened up, it will only sync the, the actual folder that you have open and not the entire library. This is really useful and a, and a best practice tip really to avoid hitting any um, sort of issues with having too many documents open um, on your computer. Now, if your documents are synced uh, and readily available on your computer, that will use a storage space. Another reason why you should avoid syncing everything and encouraging others to not sync everything from a library is that you're more likely to make a bit of a mistake. I mean by that is, say for example, if I'd sync this whole library and I decided actually uh, I don't need any of these folders, I'm going to delete them. Now what ends up happening is that will automatically sync back into SharePoint and it will delete those folders. Whereas often a lot of people make that mistake and think that this is just like their own personal view of the documents rather than being a like for like of exactly the same documents that are inside of SharePoint. So if I go back into SharePoint now, you'll see that those two folders I deleted have synced up and are now disappeared from SharePoint. This is what causes a lot of confusion, a lot of issues, because it's then quite difficult to start getting large volumes of documents back. Now trust me, when I've done this in the past before for certain clients that have lost maybe 500,000 folders in one hit in this kind of way, it's a big, big job to get back. Once you have your files and folders synced from SharePoint and available inside a File Explorer, it's worth knowing what these syncing status symbols mean. Now that's a bit of a mouthful to say. Now we can see two different types of icons here, but there's actually a few different icons that you should be aware of. Um, 
The first is this blue cloud. Now, the blue cloud means that you only have access to this, or, or I should say, it's only showing you the link to that folder. It doesn't actually have any of the documents or anything available for you to access. So because it's cloud only, that means if I suddenly lost internet now, if my internet connection suddenly dropped, I would lose access to all of these folders with the blue cloud. They would just gray out and I wouldn't have access to any of them. Whereas when you see this kind of green circle with a green tick and a white background, that means that I have access to it on a temporary basis. Now, Microsoft changed their mind what they mean by temporary, but it usually means roughly about 30 days of the last time that you accessed it. So if you're accessing it every single day, it will always be there. But let's say, for example, you had accessed it for 30 days. On the 31st day, it would go back into that cloud-only mode. Or I can choose to right-click on it and actually, oops, if I select it, right click on it, I can say free up space. And what that will do is it will automatically put it back into that cloud only mode. The reason being is if there's a green tick next to it, that means that actually it's using storage space. It has a copy of that file physically stored on my local computer using storage space. Whereas now when it's got a blue cloud, although it's aware of it, it isn't actually using any storage space. But what if, say, for example, we always wanted to make sure we had access to this particular folder, regardless of the last time I had access to it? Now, to do that, I can right click on it and say, always keep on this device. Now, what that would do is it won't be a green circle with a white background. It'll be a solid background, uh, solid green background circle with a white tick. And that means it's always accessible. No matter when the last time I accessed it, it will always be there ready um, for me to access and start using. So that's really useful. Say, for example, some really important files which you very rarely go to, but when you need them, like a disaster recovery plan or something like that, um, they're there ready to use. So say, for example, the office burns down and you have a disaster recovery plan and it has all the key information that you need inside of it. You don't want to necessarily... Um, not have those files to hand so you can make sure it's always accessible or maybe if you're working into like construction or something like that and you're out on site and you don't necessarily have an internet connection you can sync these folders offline first and then you know that you definitely have access to them when you get on site and you don't have an internet connection if you're enjoying this video a free way that you can say thank you to me is to subscribe to my channel it really does help and i really do appreciate it um, I have loads of videos, not just about SharePoint, but about Teams, Microsoft Forms, PowerPoints, um, all sorts of different things which will be really useful to you. If you need any professional help with SharePoint, you can contact me via the link in my description on my, on my bio of my YouTube channel, um, and I'll be happy to help you. Some final things to be aware of when it comes to OneDrive uh, and SharePoint syncing um, is when you see things like... Um, the red symbol over here now that means that something has kind of gone wrong something has not synced properly or it's clashed or something else which is quite common is that there's multiple versions of that document which are clashing so let's say for example if i had been working on a sharepoint site on a particular document say my products playbook um let's say for example i'm traveling on a train um to into the office and i'm working on a particular document say call it playbook a and at the very same time, because I'm working on it on the train, let's say, for example, it's on version one when I'm working on the document. And actually, I'm working on it, and I'm working on it to go to version two. But at exactly the same time, um, my colleague in the office who is connected to the internet, I'm not connected to the internet because I'm on the train, he's connected, and he's worked on the document multiple times, uh, and he's saved it and changed it, and it's now on, say, version five. Because that's um, the document that's in SharePoint is now on version 5. That's the live version. Say, for example, when I get off the train and I get into the office and my laptop tries to sync up that particular playbook A into SharePoint, my laptop thinks it has version 2 of the document that it's trying to upload, whereas my colleague Joe Bloggs has been working on it and got it to version 5. And then basically what's happened is the syncs got confused and said, I'm not too sure what the latest version of this document is. That's when you get that red cross which appears inside of File Explorer to say that there's a problem. When you find the document which has got the red cross against it, you can open up the document and it will guide you through what it, it wants you to do. 
you've got a few options. You can either manually merge your changes together to say move forward to the next version of the document, which would be version six to create that version. Or you can completely scrap your changes or you can save your file with a new name and thus basically making it a brand new document completely separate from the previous document. So you've got a few options. It's not just all's lost. You can find a way of sort of working through those options to get there. And then the final option, which is um, a status thing that you should be aware of, is when there's no status symbols at all. And this is probably the worst possible case. Um, what this means is that the syncing, for some reason, has stopped on your computer. Now, this could be for a number of reasons. Maybe you recently changed your password, and that's broken something between the sync of SharePoint and your computer. Uh, maybe there's just some like an update that needs to happen or something like that. Quite often, nine times out of ten, what I find resolves it is if, um, I mean, just off shot down here, but you'll have in the right-hand corner all the little apps which are running on your computer. And if you find the OneDrive app and open that up, it will basically um, usually have like the ability to say sign in again. It's usually because the app itself has signed out. And as soon as you sign back in again, all of the icons will reappear and it'll start syncing again. Um, of course, if you have any problems there, you could always raise um, like a support ticket or uh, contact a Microsoft partner to, to help you through those problems. Um, so that's essentially the, the key things that you need to know when you're kind of syncing your documents, accessing your SharePoint via File Explorer.